do other crafts like knitting, cross stitch and loom knitting? Yes, I do knit. Thank you, Cara. Great question. I do knit. Yes. Uh, cross stitch. No. Oh, I mean, I think I've tried it once and it just wasn't for me. Too small. I can't see it. <laughs> Too small. And loom knitting. I did try many years ago, made a couple of hats and maybe a scarf or something like that. Um, but crochet and knitting is my my thing. And I also do sewing. You can see the overlocker just there. And you can't see it, but just on this side, there's my sewing machine as well. So I do some sewing. Um, I have a little side business at the moment where I make scrunchies and uh, what, what would you call them? cows so like a loop scarf so I make the double loop scarves because I started making them because I was cold and then you know the story of people were like oh where'd you get your scarf from oh, I made it oh can you make me one yes yeah, so I so I do markets on the weekend sometimes and yeah I sell my my stuff <laughs> but I don't sell any crochet would you believe there is another part to my life that's not crochet so what is everybody working on at the moment? What are you crocheting or knitting? Any craft, doesn't matter. You're working on any projects at the moment. And what is in your cup? Today I have the world's biggest drink bottle. It's two litres, which it actually told me, tells you, 64 ounces. Because I don't understand ounces because that's not what we, we work in over here. We work in millilitres or litres, so... It's two litres or 2,000 millilitres, which is a lot. Hydrate. Everybody take a sip. More than crochet in your life? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What is your favourite thing to crochet? Ah, oh, thank you, Cara. Now, I get asked this regularly. I don't really have a favourite thing to crochet, which is weird. Uh, hats are good because they work up quite quick. Uh, but I do make a lot of shawls. I think because I'm always get cold in winter. But would you believe I couldn't find any of them? I, they must be packed away because my wardrobe isn't very big. So I have to pack away because, as you can see, this one's full of craft stuff. Uh, but I have to pack away the season. So if it's summer, I pack away my winter stuff and then vice versa. So at the moment, my winter stuff is packed away and it's gradually coming out. I could not find any of my crochet. Question, did you stop making or dyeing yarn I used to purchase from you years ago? Oh, yes, that was a, a while ago. Uh, that was when I lived in New Zealand, which I no longer do. I'm in Australia. And I think that was probably four or five years ago now. I did stop, yeah, because I, well, I moved for a start, moved countries. I don't know why I didn't get back into it. it was, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Now I, so I live on a farm now, so I've got farm duties. <laughs> Where before I didn't. What's on my hook? Let's have a look. I do have my my laminate pattern. And as you can see, that purple bit, it looks blue on the screen, but it's actually purple. I'm just working my way around the outside of this orange piece. So it starts off with your strip. And I do have a video tutorial for this already. But it's very old. It's about 10 years old. So I want to refresh it. So I'm just working up a blanket and then this will be probably donated somewhere. And then so after you've done your strips, you work around the strips and then after this row your third row is your joining row so I'll be working on that next but I still have oh I would say about six of these to crochet around so that will be my project for today Megan says how did you end up doing all things crochet for a living that's a very good question so I've been teaching for 13 years here on YouTube and I, you, I set up the local crochet group in where I used to live. It's still going, but um, I obviously don't go anymore because I don't live there. But there was a little old lady who's no longer with us. But Maggie, you're up there. Yeah. 
she was the most awesome lady she had the most awesome personality and everything was funny so yeah she's a real fun lady to be around but she was in her 80s and she was so so sweet and she taught me how to join granny squares this is going back 13 years ago she taught me how to join granny squares because I hadn't really done much in crochet then like even though I've crocheted for 20 years I kind of just did blankets like just you know make a really long chain sorry elbow on the table <laughs> make a really long chain crochet back and forwards yeah or make scarves that was pretty much it yeah, so she taught me how to join granny squares and when I looked on YouTube, I couldn't find anybody that crocheted the granny squares together that way. And I thought, hmm, how hard can it be to make a video tutorial and upload it to YouTube? <laughs> it, it wasn't really that hard actually because I had no... Uh, I had no experience. So I didn't know what I had to do. I was just like, I'm going to film myself and chuck it on YouTube. Anyway, so then people were commenting on the video and saying, oh, how do you make a hat? And I was, so I would type back and you just do this, this and that. And they'd say, oh, I don't understand. You need to show me like a video. So I would make a hat video and so on. So people would request another thing and make another video. And I wasn't working at the time and I would upload probably once every couple of months like oh my goodness my first video what is it is it the granny square one because there, there might have been something before that oh we got 50 likes thanks Dido Ah, so it was, oh gosh, <laughs> that is, I'm just laughing because I know how bad that video is. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how I got into crochet. And at first, like I didn't get paid for it. It was just some fun. And then YouTube's, back then YouTube approached me and said, hey, do you want to make some money out of this? Uh, what? I can make money doing crochet? Really? So yeah that's I monetize my channel and here we are 13 years later and I've got something like 410,000 subscribers what <laughs> what <laughs> how is that even possible that is crazy gotta keep your first video it shows us how much we have grown oh it sure does I'm sure I would critique that video really badly if I ever watched it again. I should go and watch it after this just so I can have a good laugh. Nick you, are you going to Bendigo this year, Claire? I'm pondering next year. No, I'm not going this year. I don't have any plans to go down. Um, Chantel doesn't know, I don't know if I've ever said this to you, but I was only ever going to Bendigo so I could meet you. <laughs> the secret's out. And now uh, you don't go to Bendigo, so there's nothing left for me. <laughs> and there's plenty left, like obviously Bendigo. Um, yeah, no, I don't have any reason to go down. Yeah. <laughs> I obviously haven't never told you that. Yeah, I was like, oh, I want to go to Bendigo and I want to meet Chantel. Oh, you went in 2013. So much fun. It does. It looks amazing. So anyone that doesn't know what Bendigo is, a sheep and wool show. So there's, you know, real live sheep and running around doing their thing, um, herding and things like that. But there's also market stalls that, sh that sell everything sheepy. So you can buy fleeces, you can buy yarn that's already made, hand dyed, knitting needles. Um, so it's like basically a huge yarn festival with the celebration of the sheep as well. JB saying, does your sloth thread friend next to you have a name it's so cute <laughs> it doesn't have a name no but he's really squishy he's so cute i bought this about i'm gonna say six months ago i don't have any kids and i saw it i'm like i need that because he makes me happy look at that cute little smile and he sits on my computer desk he doesn't normally sit there but I was like, that's cute. You can go in the, in the thing. What should we call him? My question for today 
is what is your biggest tip for newbies? I have had this question in my community page here on YouTube. If you don't know what the community page is, it's my community tab. So on my YouTube channel, there is a couple of tabs like videos, uh, the home tab, community membership, etc., etc. So the community tab is kind of like Facebook. I can post stuff in there and it'll come up in your home feed off your YouTube. Uh, you can't post, you can't post comment that you can't, you can, you can reply to something I've said, but you can't put your own thing on there as a separate thing like you can on Facebook, which is a shame. Um, and you can't post photos, like you can't reply with a photo, which sometimes is a good thing. <laughs> but it would be good if, if uh, that was a thing, a feature. But I can post questions in there. So I did post the question, what is your biggest tip for newbies? But if it didn't come up in your home feed, then that's why I'm saying it here. Oh my gosh, I'm crocheting my hair into my crochet. Struggle is real. Yeah, who has crocheted their hair into their project? If you, Even if you've got short hair, does that happen? Because I'm constantly pulling hair out of projects. It's really gross. And it's not even like the one, like it's not this hair, it's the hair that's fallen out, I'm assuming. Because it doesn't hurt, like I don't feel it. Is my heater too noisy? No one really commented, so I'm assuming that it's not. And saying, Claire, can you talk about what colours you are choosing right now for your projects and why? The colours I'm choosing, let's see if I can grab what I have. I think that's all the colours. Now, on my screen, these look quite muted, but imagine wearing your sunglasses because they're so bright. So this is bright yellow, like this, like bright yellow. This is fluoro pink. This is a fluoro green, and that's a very bright, bright blue. So if you know Red Heart Super Saver, this is turquoise. I think that's shocking pink. No, pretty in pink. I don't even know if they still have these colors. That's bright yellow and that is glow worm, I think. So they're all super bright, not sure about the purple. And the orange is, don't know. I cannot see my labels. So the reason I've chose these colors is because that is what I grabbed out of my stash. I am trying to stash bust because I have so much yarn. Red Heart, which is now part of the Yarnspirations group, they sent me yarn to make crochet tutorials. So over the years, they've sent me so much yarn and I've been sent more yarn that I can crochet with. So I really need to bust some stash. So I just grabbed really bright colors and um, yeah, that's pretty much how that came together. And that's why I'm using those colors. Do you like Red Heart Super Saver? I have a love-hate relationship. I love the variety of colors. There are so many colors in Red Heart Super Saver and they've always got new ones coming out. It can be a little bit scratchy to work with. This, these ones don't feel too bad. Some of them are a bit scratchy than others. I find the red ones not the best to work with, but after you've washed them, I mean, it's acrylic. It's never gonna be a merino cashmere um, but after you've washed it it it's pretty good so I don't like it to work with with that it's got quite a scratchy feel especially if you've been working with a natural yarn so you've been working with a, a wool or a merino that's really soft and then you pick up this project um, yeah it can be quite scratchy but after it's washed it's it's pretty good it's an acrylic and I mean here it's not reasonably priced but in the US it's reasonably priced as far as I know uh, let me know if you don't think it is but it's it's a reasonable price so you, you know you kind of get what you pay for Kara saying what brand do you like the most oh that's a tricky question um, so acrylic wise I haven't tried all the US brands so I've sort of tried anything that Red Heart can send me um, I do like Stylecraft 
Special DK, which is a UK yarn. I can get that on a website and get it sent over. I find that really nice. It's nice and soft. Uh, again, huge selection of colours. I know there's at least 70 different colours, which, what? That's amazing. It is a lighter weight yarn. It's a number three weight yarn, which is a DK or an A-ply. Where if you haven't used Red Heart Super Saver, just pulled out some stitches. If you haven't used Red Heart Super Saver, this is a 10-ply here in Australia. It's about equivalent to an Aran Waits or a number four yarn in the US. So what do I like the most? Yeah, so that's acrylic. I like the Stylecraft DK. And like I do like, oh, see, if you can see here, this stack here, I do like hand-dyed yarn or merino yarn. It doesn't have to be hand-dyed. So I do like that as well. Uh, Favourite brands. I haven't tried a lot of brands. I've I would say maybe 10, 15 different brands. Um, Chantel used to dye yarn, absolutely love her colour ranges. And I've got Fiberific, which is another Australian yarn dyer. Got a lot of that. Got some New Zealand yarn because I used to live there. Uh, I've got some English yarn and some Irish yarn because I visited, I think it's about three years ago now before COVID. Uh, I visited there, so bought some yarn of course have you tried mosaic crochet yet from purple crochet and more uh no i have not but Chantel, who is in the back end of this live chat is working on the queen blanket by tina i can never remember her last name i'm sure it will go in the chat um and yeah working on the queen and it's absolutely beautiful and i really want to try one uh, I, I don't want to make a blanket because I know that I won't finish it. I just know I won't because that's my personality. Um, I don't have the attention span. <laughs> and well, maybe make a cushion or something. I think a cushion would be good. That's not much of a commitment. <laughs> and who doesn't like a crochet cushion? Has anybody made a crochet cushion? Uh, crochet is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And it's the people watching me on YouTube that make, made me come back. After I went to the conference last year, I just had this overwhelming feeling like I needed to teach people. And, yeah, it was amazing. It was this amazing feeling of I need to teach people how to crochet. I did fall off the wagon recently, obviously. I haven't had a computer um, and I've been struggling with motivation to get things done. But this is getting me hyped up again. So, yay. Very exciting. 